bro right when i finish work it's all freaking raining and all that all right so how are you guys doing doing good yeah it's good to hear i just finished work i didn't have anything recorded so i needed to film like a little vlog or whatever and honestly i didn't really know what to record i was pretty much just juggling through like different topics and like different video ideas that i wanted to to make but honestly i didn't really prepare for any of that so i'm just gonna be kind of winging it you know today will be a more casual vlog i'd say but anyway so i started going back to school pretty much i think i briefly mentioned this in a video about whether you should go to school or not if you haven't seen it you should go check it out but to put it simply i'm taking up a train the main reason why i decided to go back is because i practically found out that i just need something you know i obviously want this youtube channel to blow up in its own way but at the same time i also need to be mindful of the types of decisions i make especially since i'm young right now all this time standing behind a register all day it honestly just feels very miserable also one of the things that i just learned about myself is that i am very terrible at managing my free time maybe procrastination is just a really big thing on me like I, for some reason i just can't do things on schedule you know it put me in a spot where i had to do some thinking which is how i went into this decision i don't know if you guys knew but one of my main issues in uh manoa which was the college i went to was that i was paying for a bunch of money i was spending a lot of money or taking up loans for a degree that i didn't see myself utilizing in the future so on my personal part i felt like i was getting into a scam because the tuition at that university is very unforgiving even for in-state and so if i'm paying a lot of money for that and taking up a degree that i don't see myself utilizing in a long time that evidently put me into the decision that i needed to take a gap year take a long break to really think about how i should navigate my life and so with that i moved to another city i put myself into a completely new environment i've gained new experiences new knowledge a whole point of view of what it's like to live a totally different life that i lived there so yeah i went back to school i took up a trade and i decided to learn carpentry because hawaii is so small you can practically set like a network pretty easily over here as long as you have a skill that can benefit those people so why not just learn a trade or a skill that can you know do those types of services not only that but i also felt that if i'm going to be putting myself into this situation or if i'm going to keep myself busy i might as well and do something that i feel like could be very contributing to what i want to do for my future and so that skill was one thing I thought to myself that hey man i can just build a house i'm home now i'm so hungry oh my god look intruder alert all right so i switched to my house fit 10 out of 10. all right for dinner i'm having Lunganisa, which is like a Filipino sausage, some pork barbecue on a stick, and kimchi fried rice. Despite the macros not being up to optimal standards, the portions I believe are still good enough for me to maintain or lose weight. Funny story with this rice though, I was craving kimchi fried rice, and so I was cooking it, right? But this looks like Spanish rice. I don't know about what I use, I don't know if it was the, the kimchi or whatever, but it tastes more like Spanish rice and kimchi fried rice. So I started my cut already, right? I'm pretty much just like losing the fat around my body and trying to get these muscles to protrude out. The way that I'm doing it now is a lot more different compared to how I've been usually losing weight in the past. It's definitely a lot more healthier, slower. And the reason for that is because I want to be able to enjoy my food while I lose weight, right? So I've always hated the idea of starving myself to just eating like salads and shit all day and completely cutting off all my favorite foods. It's kind of a challenge to look for that healthy medium. I've listened to like a couple podcasts, a couple videos online, and the one consistent thing that I keep hearing is that People who starve themselves to like the utmost degree, at least half, will evidently just gain that weight all back just because of how harsh that diet was. How it's probably more healthier to just keep slow because you can still enjoy all your favorite foods and all that. You just gotta make them healthier pretty much. Maybe doing like small differences like using a slip pan and not using vegetable oil. You know, some simple stuff like that can make some considerable changes to your body. I 
I started my cut in the beginning of August. And so ever since then, I'm already down 10 pounds, which is very healthy for me. I think it's very good progress to be losing that amount of weight in that time because not many other people can do that. Not only that, but the best thing about this is that I'm still eating the foods that I really love. I've also incorporated much more intense cardio into my workouts, so. And it's been going very well for me because what I've been doing for my cardio is basketball. I really enjoy playing basketball and I could see myself doing that for a very long time. So like on my cardio days or a little bit after the workout, I have a whole basketball workout that I would do to increase my skill at the game, you know, get me ready for like pickup games while losing fat at the same time. So when it comes to cardio, just do things that you enjoy, man. Cause it's all about consistency, right? So you wanna be doing things that you enjoy. For my diet, I pretty much just eat three times a week, relatively clean from like Sunday to Friday. Saturday, I'll give myself like a cheat meal, you know, reward myself a little bit. And so I pretty much eat whatever my mom cooks or whatever I find in the fridge. I just try to make it like as healthy as I can. So for example, let's say the fridge is empty. I look in the pantry and I see like a can of tuna, cook the tuna and some like shoyu, onions, eat it on a bed of rice. Pretty ono ba. One of the things I usually keep track of are how many times I've been eating my carbs throughout my day. I personally try to eat more meat than like carbs or like any sides just to prevent like extra calories from going in. So for example, I would eat like a portion of rice like twice a day. So like one out of three of those meals throughout the day, I would just eat only the protein just to prevent myself from putting extra calories in because the meat realistically is not super lean. This is the closest I can ever get to eating healthy while enjoying food at the same time or even other instances like if I were to eat like carbs as a snack at one time I'll just not eat rice on the next meal you know stuff like that just balancing little tweaks here and there for my schedule for my workouts I pretty much work out three times a week I have one cardio day where I play basketball and then another cardio day Sundays where I work at a farm with my dad so essentially I'm pretty active five times out of seven days so <laughs> All right, we put the mic in. Okay. All right, so let's actually get into the main part of the video. I have finally done it. I'm free from the shackles of this despair. But yes, I've deleted TikTok. Yeah. Deleted TikTok. Free from that. It was actually a couple weeks ago, but let's talk about it now. I've downloaded it the first time, like a long time ago. Got into the videos and all that, and man. Deleted it already because I noticed how much of a trap it was to be scrolling through all those videos and all that. And I was going, I was going pretty good, right? I had some considerable time without the app, and then just on a random curiosity, I just got the app again. Yeah, this was around the time that I was starting to vlog again because I thought to myself that I might as well just post the videos on that app too, right? Try to get as much views as I can, or try to funnel a lot of people into my YouTube channel, which is the the main the main channel where all my content is at. No other app is gonna get rid of my love for YouTube and my desire to be big on this platform. But moving on, so I've been keeping that up. Every time I finish recording a video, I make the reels, I post them on top of TikTok, on Instagram. Recently, I started doing it on Facebook too because I linked my Facebook to my Instagram and YouTube Shorts also. So the, the game plan was definitely there. I was definitely executing what I needed to execute. But what I didn't really take into account was the amount of usage I had on that app. I was very aware of it in the beginning. I was like, I know this app is a very big trap but I can probably use it to kill time whenever I need to kill time and how time really goes by fast when you're really on that app watching videos and all that so I've done that maybe when it comes to like short breaks or lining up to get your food everyday stuff like that just hop on the app watch some nice videos learn a thing or two and for your information by the way my for you page is full of very informative things I, I like to save a lot of those things to in the hopes that I'm going to be using them later in the future. Hopes. So far, I've been very consistent with it. Just watching videos on there, if I have like extra, extra free time to use, posting clips on there. Every now and then I get like a couple of, couple of views on there. And then after a considerable amount of time, that's when I started to notice, or maybe half notice because I still felt a little blind to it. But you know, looking back, I've been, I've been looking at the videos a little longer than I thought. This is where the hope start kicking in, where I've entered into a whole domino effect. Yeah, I'll admit, I let the addiction get to me. Unfortunately, whenever I finish work, 
pop on the app, 15 minutes goes by, next week, same shit, throughout 7 days of the week, pop the open app, boom, 30 days, 30 days, 30 minutes goes by, same thing, next week again, boom, a whole hour just went by, and all of a sudden, I didn't even get my laundry done, I wasn't able to record, shit just wasn't kicking in well for me, and yeah, it took way too long for me to realize this shit is not going well for me. So now I'm stuck at like a conundrum. I felt that I needed the app to be posting my videos on there, you know, for views. But at the same time, are the videos worth it for me to waste even more time to be surfing on there? And you know what happened after that? I stayed on the app. Fuck. Yeah, who would have thought? Yeah, I stayed on the app for like a couple more weeks. Can you really blame me? You probably can't. It, it was so weird because I was constantly thinking to myself, you need to get off this app. You need to get off these videos because you are laying on your bed on your couch for forever time and you're just not getting off. And I just don't, just can't do it for some reason. And that's been going on for a long time until I was on the toilet, okay? And then my girlfriend texted me. She was like, get off TikTok and look at the, the photo I sent you. And that, <laughs> And ironically, that was a time where I fucking held on to my, fo my phone screen and pressed the X button. Yeah, kind of weird, isn't it? She tells me to look at her photo, and I'm like, fuck it, I'll just get off the app then. Boom, exit out. App is gone, I've never felt better. Sort of. I did tell myself that I was getting addicted, and I really needed to stop this before it gets any worse, but I've never realized how much of an effect it had to me until the week after I deleted it. Because the whole seven days after that, I was, I caught myself just like going, turning on my phone, looking through the app, just like clicking on it, and it's gone. And then when I noticed it was gone in my, in my head, I was like, oh yeah, I, I, de I deleted it, it's gone now. And it's been going on for seven days, which was very, which it was a very interesting feeling for me. I was more used to looking for videos on there than trying to enjoy the things that I already have, like my video games. In my opinion, that feels very devastating for me because I prefer to watch videos on there than to play my favorite video games, essentially, throughout that whole period of time. And scratch my head just makes me feel very dumbfounded. So yeah, at that point I was like, man, fuck it, it's not really that worth it any anymore. So I deleted it, sacrificed that one thing, put more focus onto the other stuff. After those seven days, albeit slightly, but I do feel a little more productive now. I'm actually posting the videos once a week, not once every nine days. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but yeah. And in my opinion, I feel like my focus is still a little low, but it's definitely a lot better than in the midst of all that and so now to this day i'm playing pokemon heart gold right now and i am on the fifth gym really enjoying the game i'm watching baki season two right now i'm on episode 13 i believe or 14 yeah and if you're watching this video i suggest that you get off tiktok right now don't let it be you bro just don't let it be you. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Life is life is pretty good right now. I feel pretty good. Very motivated. Very motivated. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.